Hello again YouTubers, this is Dewey in Nashville again coming back to show you the water reservoir frame. Uh, some of you after my last video I thought they're probably going to ridicule me for building on top of wood chips because the wood chips are going to decay and uh, cause some issues level wise, cause some problems maybe with the water reservoir stretching too much if it uh, kind of falls out. So. Uh, as I've been building, I've been thinking of other ways to to fix that, and so I do have some remedies that I'll show you as we as I show you the frame. Level out the site. Um, I added a brick down here because I was having trouble with compaction, and as you can see, I don't have. Let me get it to zoom in here. I don't have a ton of uh, extra chips on this corner, and so the brick will actually space it out and keep it from compacting too much. Uh, this will spread the weight out of the corner and uh, it's also a more stable surface uh, sitting on top of the chips but yeah there's probably about eight inches of wood chips on this end this end being higher up terrain wise uh, and my producer's inspecting the set uh, it's only got maybe a half inch or an inch of wood chips on it and then you get to cardboard and, and earth so that one's probably the more stable of the sides <clears throat> This is just a, a pretty simple setup. Um, you got a four foot piece on each end, four foot right there, four foot right there, two eight foot pieces going the length. Um, level out the uh, the boards, screw them together. You can see I, I've I've got it for extra support and to make the interior um, square foot uh, smaller. Excuse me. I've got it kind of toenailed there. And then I've got an opposite toenail there, and it just kind of follows that pattern all the way around. So no one piece is kind of screwed together. Um, I've got the level on there. I'm a, I'm a, I won't say anal, level anal, pretty close. Um, it can be a little off. I just don't want it to get too far off level. So um, I've got the pieces down, and to combat the whole wood chip shrinkage issue, I hammered in some of those landscaping stakes I told you about. Ordinarily, I was going to just kind of sit those in there, uh, hammer them down, and then let the uh, plywood rest on that. But things that I didn't want the frame to sink, I uh, actually get in here. I screwed them into the frame, and I've got uh, see, I've got six on each side. Um, they're kind of too closer to that end since it's got more wood chips to rest on and then you can see the six on this side found out that um, the three inch screws that I had aren't good for that because they'll actually go almost a full inch through the wood so uh, I used the two and a half and there's still a little bit sticking out uh, I'm not sure if you can make that up there you go you see a little bit sticking out and the extra wood shavings are for the hole the float barb and screw will not go all the way through the 2 by 4 obviously, because it's not you know, an inch and a half long, inch and three quarters, whatever the exact measurement is of the 2 by 4 So I've got um, a hole drilled there, and this will allow to get plugged in. It'll go through the wood like that. There'll be a plastic... Um, let me focus plastic layer down here that will come up the sides this will go through the plastic I'll cut a small hole it's got a uh, neoprene washer on there I'll probably also add a uh, garden hose washer it will go through and then make sure I try and stay in focus this excuse me this nut here will go through that hole and then it, it's a so um, five eighths inch bit, and you can see that goes right into the hole, and will you can use it to screw on the uh, the nut from the outside. Uh, the diameters I used still got their sawdust on them from when I did the the drilling. One inch for the big hole. And how I kind of gauged it was once this tip, this you use first. I found out the hard way you can't use the smaller bit first. You have to use the bigger bit first. Uh, once that tip started poking through the wood is when I knew to stop. Because that would leave enough room 
for the float to grab onto. So one inch there, and I still got the uh, half inch bit on the drill. So that's the small hole that the float will actually go into. Then the one inch is where the your ratchet socket will go through to uh, tighten it down once you've got the water reservoir actually made and filled and everything else.